This video is on the relationship between, on the one hand, pliancy and flexibility, and on the other hand, discipline. Now, in one of the other videos, I gave the ethos of discipline, the overview of why it's important and its place in practice. But I'm going to, this time, talk more uh, practically and experientially about the relationship between the qualities of being pliant and flexible and adaptable in relationship to uh, being more focused, disciplined, systematic and uh, directed in the way that you, you take yourself on and you develop awareness or take in awareness. So when you decide to, to, to meditate and you sit down, uh, when you need to have a relationship between the intentionality that is clear that this is what you're going to do, you're going to do this practice, say for example a practice which focuses on the breathing, the mindfulness of breath. Uh, and that is what you're going to do and you give yourself a time that you're going to practice for and there's a, a decisiveness and a determination to actually stick with that and you enter in to the parameters of that that you are going to work within those parameters of being aware of the breath. You're not just going to decide, you know, three minutes in or four minutes in, oh, no, I think I'll look at a candle or be aware of something else, or I think I'll plan my holiday. No, you, you're going to actually stick to the plan because it's a working ground, it's a training ground. By actually staying with it, you're actually working with the tendencies of the mind to jump off or to, to close down and have a nap. So, just because it wants to, not for any good reason perhaps. So, this sort of parameter of decisiveness, this is what's going to happen and this is the working ground, uh, is important. And if you, if you keep on giving up or changing that then basically you don't get anywhere because you know to, to, to characterize the mind in a certain way uh, the mind goes oh well you know he says he's going to do that or she says she's going to do that and then as soon as I say no I don't want to it goes oh okay so I can just do what I like you know go here sleep there go buzzing off there lie down here to characterise it in that way, uh, and it just gets it, that's the message. But if the the mess the the alternative message is no, we are doing this, and if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it and do it properly. If I'm going to sit down, I am going to actually check and adjust for when my mind uh, wanders off, and, and I'm going to deal with that. Then the mind actually goes, oh, they're serious. Okay, so let's get behind this. Uh, so in relationship, not in opposition, but in relationship to this uh, aspect of discipline, decision, uh, direction and firmness even, there is the quality of mind of being sort of flexible and pliant and in this, I think this is a very interesting area of exploration because it, you can actually feel it when your mind is rather tense and tight and inflexible and it just goes, no, it should be like this, it's going to be like this and it shouldn't be any other way, it should be like this. And it has a very particular quality about it when it's in that kind of hard, harsh, firm steely kind of mode uh, and on the other hand in relation well on the other hand 
there's this sort of the positive pliancy that is actually uh, quite sort of facile. The mind is quite sort of plastic and uh, ephemeral even, and there is a sense of changeability and going with the change. Because things are, are changing all the time, and some of those changes are very positive. So part of the, the quality of pliancy and adaptability is to actually go, ah, okay, so what is happening here is there's an intensity of energy or there's an intensity, intensity of calmness that's just happened and I adapt to that and I stay with that change or this change. So this pliant quality of mind means that you can recognise that something has happened and go with it. I think a, a, a rather simplistic example is you say, well, I, I'm going to do the awareness of the breath and you start being aware of the breath and then all of a sudden you notice that your whole body starts to become uh, full of energy and you go, no, I'm not supposed to be doing this, I'm supposed to be aware of the breath and I'm going to ignore all that enjoyment and, and energy and just focus on the breath as too rigid and too disciplined in a way and not taking into account the, uh, the quality of being blind and going, okay, so this is happening now. How can this be incorporated? How can I adapt to this? So in this way, these two qualities of pliancy and firmness and determination come together uh, in a sort of higher synthesis of middle way.